Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. Well folks, today you're looking at a video that was produced uh, last year, April 29th of 2019. It's 2020, the end of June. And um, we have an update in XLights that allows us to, uh, to show you uh, how to add in a little bit of variation to how icicle pixels are created in your display also using different props. So um, what I want to do is I want to create an update video. I'm not going to go through all of it because the main information in this video is still relevant and good. I'm just going to show you the update that has been added. While we're on this page, if you like today's video, please hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also, if you do like the video, click the like button. We really appreciate that. And if you really appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, please consider joining our PPD Sequence Club and supporting us and these videos through our PPD Sequence Club membership. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, not only do you get one awesome sequence each and every month, you get access to the PPD Triple Play sequences. You can choose from th one of three sequences for the month on the original layout, or you can get all three sequences. You get one for free included, but then you can choose the other two and get them for 50% off. We also have affiliate savings. Whenever you click on this link, you'll get access to a huge discount from multiple vendors such as Boscoyo Studios, Wired Watts, uh, a number of uh, sequence uh, vendors that are available, as well as other hobby-related vendor purchases. We also offer huge effects presets that are in uh, uh, the members area where you can download the effects presets for each month. You get four each month, and you have access to the previous months as well. So consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. So there are a number of uh, Pixel uh, uh, Coro vendors that uh, offer different Icicle roof outline combos, uh, as you can see. Uh, one here from, this is Gilbert Engineering is one. You may have seen these from uh, James over at Boscoyo Studios. Uh, if you are interested in using these, then there's some rather interesting information that uh, today's video will help you with. If you'd like to add these in, you can add in these kind of icicles rather easily with standard pixels now, as opposed to getting specialty uh, specific icicle pixels, which do tend to be more expensive. Now, uh, what Xlights has done is they've gone in and they've added what is called a alternate drop pattern or a drop uh, alternating nodes, and you have a drop pattern here. And what we're going to do is this. I'm just showing you these as an example. This is a standard. If you click and uh, if you select the icicle model, uh, whenever you just select it one time, you click and drag. This is your basic model. Now I'm just going to delete that because I've already gone it and. I, I put 600 pixels on here. And what Xlights will do is it'll take your 600 pixels and, um, or I'm sorry, 600 channels, ha, 200 pixels is what I put in there. Um, if Xlights default drop pattern is three, four, five, comma, four. And what it does is it will repeat three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four. And it will do that the whole way across for you. So if you, uh, you can adjust it there and you can get more information on the drop patterns in the other video. But here is the nice thing is we can alternate how this wiring is done. If we right click on the model here and we click on node layout, we can extend this out and we can see just how the pixels are numbered. So this is node number one, string one. So this is all string one or one string. And we have node one, two, three, and then it goes up to the top, four, five, six, seven, and then comes down and then goes back up to the top, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that kind of makes it like you have to use the specific icicle pixels. Well, not to worry because now that we have an alternate wiring diagram, um, when uh, alternate wiring or alternate nodes, we can select, let's say, a specific number of pixels and do, like, let's say, even strings. Now, this works on either uh, version. I'll show you that here in the node layout, this is this is your stan standard icicle pixel, and you have node one, string one. This is all string one, and it goes node one through seven, then back to the top, eight through 14. That's the, the default setting in X lights. But if you wanted to use these icicle pixels with standard or the icicle uh, 
uh, models that you find from some of these other vendors, if you wanted to use that, what you would want to do is you would possibly want to get your own pixels that have, let's say, four inch spacing. And you could leapfrog all the way down the icicle and then back up to the top skip over, leapfrog down the icicle, and then back up to the top. And that's easy to do by simply clicking the alternate nodes. And if we do that, now that we've updated it, we can right click and we can look at the node layout. And you can clearly see where node one is at the top here. Node seven is now the second one down. Node two is leapfrogged over top here. And so what you have is you have this one, two, three, four and then you go back up five six seven and then you leap over here so now you can see if you have these you're coming straight down from the very top of the uh, icicle you're coming down from here one two three four and then you leapfrog back up five six and then jump over here um, so that's kind of the uh, background on this and it really does uh, kind of help you have to make less decisions or less choices and it will kind of save you a couple bucks in your pixel purchases especially on the icicle pixels there's nothing wrong with them but some people find that it might be just less challenging to use uh, a specialty pixel in this matter so uh, with these additions into x lights it's always good to have this updated video and that's what we did today here folks if you really do appreciate the content please make sure you do hit the like button we have an awesome community that we call the pixel pro universe Facebook group. You can search for us down below and there is a link in the description of this video. And if you click on there to join the group, then we're happy to bring you in. And we do lots of cool stuff inside the group. Every month we have little contests or little giveaways or uh, there's also uh, different trainings we do. We do uh, uh, different webinars. I really like looking at content that people are requesting or have questions over. In fact, this video is brought to you because somebody asked a great question in our Pixel Pro University Facebook group. So folks, Thank you for joining us in today's video. We will see you next time.